Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited this week to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, I know this broadcast has been a blessing to a lot of people because we get feedbacks and testimonies. You see, the Spirit of God is always looking for means to help you. That's the reason we're doing these things. See, not because we want to show our face or have something to say. Yes, we do have something to say. But you see, the, the purpose is to reach out to you with our testimonies and see how that can help you, help you grow, help you stand firm in the Lord. Praise God. And you know, sometimes when we say, help you stand firm in the Lord, so someone just think, oh, okay, you know all this Christian stuff. Standing firm in the Lord means standing firm in life. You know why? Because the Lord we talk about is the creator of all things. <laughs> Praise God. So everybody needs the truth. Everybody needs the gospel. And that's why we take, I mean, take through this means, bring forth the truth to you. So, so when you're listening to this broadcast, listen to it with the same faith that we give it out. Praise God. How? We believe God for words to give out. And now when you listen, you must release your faith to the Lord for understanding. So it's a good time to pray and say, Lord, as I listen to this broadcast, I want you to grant me an understanding heart. And you will see how the Lord will begin to open up his knowledge and his understanding to you. Now we've been talking about the knowledge of God. You know, that's what the Lord said we should focus on this year. Praise God. And listen, it's been amazing. You know, sometimes... Even no matter how you know the word of God, no matter how you teach the truth, if every time, just like the, 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 the scripture say, he that water it shall be watered also. Every time I'm done teaching these things, because in the midst of it, there are things the Holy Spirit will say to me that, that will sound kind of new to me. But by faith, I even go ahead to teach it. Because I know the voice that is speaking. See, so I teach it, but then I go back and say, Lord, that thing I said today, it's quite new. And then he begins to open it up to me. See, that's how he who waters is watered also. See, so when you trust God to water, you see, you go back to the Lord and he waters you too. Praise God. It doesn't mean, um, you know, me that is preaching to you or you people who come and water me with your money. That's not what that scripture is talking about. The scripture is saying, you water, how do you water? Jesus said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So when you release that living water, you go back to the one who sent you. You go back to the one who instructed you. And what's he going to do? He will release water into your own water. Praise God. And then you, you, you become so blessed. That's how these things work. Praise God. Now, this week, I'm, we're going to be looking into um, a, a lot of things, you know, concerning the knowledge of God. I found out, and, and this is the truth, the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ is the solution to everything, everything you can think about. There is nothing, oh, I, I pray you understand this, there is nothing you need in life nothing be it your health maybe you're having challenges in your marriage right now you know or or in your academics whatever you can just think about at work just whatever the knowledge of god the knowledge of jesus christ is the answer oh i'm telling you the truth you know someone goes okay i'm having problems in my marriage tell me about marriage can you talk about marriage you know, I will get requests like that. Oh, can you talk about this topic? Can you talk about this? Now, now first of all, it, it's good you send those feedbacks. See, because when we receive those feedbacks, we begin to pray about them, you know, and, and ask the mind of God concerning it. Now, it doesn't mean when we see it, we may want to respond to it immediately. No, we begin to ask the Lord concerning it. And then the Lord, at his own time, See, we'll say, okay, I want you to talk about this. And let me tell you this truth. When he says talk about it, I don't go to my archives to say, okay, let me search my notes on, on, on marriage or on finances. No. When he says talk about this, I know what to do. I open myself to him. Say, Lord, okay, so what do you want us to say? And then he begins to give the utterance. And many times it, 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 it brings light even to what I have known before. Praise God. So that's how these things work. 
So you see, this week, we're going to be trusting the Spirit of God to get into lots of things. But let me show you this scripture. Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. And then verse 6. It says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Praise God. He says, Seek God now that he will be found. Call on him now that he is near. And then the next verse says, Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Praise God. This is the truth. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. But that doesn't mean his thoughts are so far that we cannot assess it. Remember what he said. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let them turn to the Lord. Why? To learn his thoughts, to learn his ways. Praise God. And that's what we're doing. When we talk about the knowledge of God, we are getting in line with his thoughts and his ways. Praise God. I know this week is going to be a great one. Just follow me. Don't miss any broadcast this week because I've got to stop here right now. Praise God. Listen, have a blessed day today. And let the Spirit of God carry you by himself and bring into your inheritance. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.